what I did and you can review the video. So I just hit the record button now since we're getting started. Um, but yeah, Tetra Vankara, we can start with you and your question. How are you okay, doing? Thank you. I'm good, yeah. <laughs> I am great. I'm really bad at multitasking, so I'm going to focus. <laughs> so you're asking, let me, I'm going to share my screen with you. And I'm going to log into my Shopify. Oh, okay, Janelle, can you say that again? Because I want to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm clear on exactly what you're, what you're suggesting. Um, in terms of the subdomains? Yes. Um, yeah, so typically use the main domain for the main site you're focusing on. So I would assume it's the WordPress um, would be like the www. Um, I use the example gordon.com. And then if he wants to have a shop page um, on the same domain, but have it, you know, like accessible easily to his customers, he would have a shop.gordon.com. So that's where you shop and you go to the Shopify store with that subdomain, but then the main domain would lead to his WordPress site, which is www. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, I guess I'm confused on, um, Okay, so I guess I, I, I guess from my from my point or what I'm, where I'm seeing, if if the purpose is for the e-commerce store, I guess I'm not understanding why you would do two separate ones. Like why there would be a Shopify and a WordPress. Um, I've had companies who really use, like they rely heavily on. SEO in the sense of like paying for Google ads, um, paying for keywords, and they know that um, WordPress is just the king when it comes to um, SEO, um, especially with plugins like Yoast um, and Shopify, that's not their strength, the SEO portion. Um, but Shopify, they still need that e-commerce function and they prefer it over WooCommerce. Um, so they do that separation in terms of what platforms they use but they still have very similar branding to make it mesh well. Hey, can you guys hear me now? Yes, go ahead. Uh, okay, I apologize, I'm driving and smoke for better area. Uh, so one way is to separate that, and I've seen that done. I don't know if you heard that part, but I agree with Janelle on that. But you could also get a developer to help you on your own Shopify store and create a page for you where you can post blogs and Yes, uh, for SEO purposes, WordPress is better. Shopify's forte is mainly e-commerce. That's where they shine. Um, and All right, guys, I'm going to share my screen with you right now. That's called Shogun. Shogun is an account you create. You log on to it, and then it's a page builder. So you can build your page. First of all, you connect your Shogun account to Shopify account. And whatever page you build on Shogun, you can customize it. Okay, let me know if you guys can see this. I can see it. So guys, I'm on Shopify officially. This is my new Shopify site. <laughs> um, okay, I've I can been, see too. I've been, um, my main site is on WordPress and my portfolio as well. And I've been dealing with a lot of Shopify clients lately that I decided to build this site so I can actually yeah, work yeah. in it and show you guys the back end of my site and still, um, no you know, use it, use the product that I've been promoting. So here's the back end. I'm going to answer your question. I'd like to know how to put new products on the main page so people see that first instead of the old products. So can I get, can I see your website is right now? Uh, Yes. Let's see if it's up. Okay. Yeah. So the next thing that I was going to go into that I wanted to go into was the SEO component. Um, and oh, okay. It's up. That and then, this area you're talking like, give me an example of which area you're talking about. Because it's essentially like, like, like this front page where you have the collection list. I've got some new things I would, I'd love to put there. So once they come in, like the bag, I'd prefer to put the new bags first instead of the old ones. What do you think? How do I go about it? 
Okay, okay. So you have your collections list here. You have bags here, yeah. but you want the image of the new bag first. Yeah. Here. Um, so you would that's a manual thing. Hmm. You would like have if you to look at the accessories. Oh, sorry. Yeah. If you look at the accessories, the bo tissue box is a new product. But so I didn't know how to put it at the cup. Okay. So. Okay. So. Okay. So this is the newest product. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, it's just the sorting. Like this is just default. Like I don't think there's anything. I thought you were talking about the actual image. Yeah, I'm talking about the image. Uh, like this right here. You see how? Let me go to the main page. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what is customizable or what you can do. Okay. So right here, you can control what's the first picture that people see on this area. Okay. But then when you go into accessories, that's where the filtering comes in. All right. So it's filtered by this area so best selling or it says date so let's say newest to oldest it's going to show that this is the newest product this is the oldest so it's kind of like this is what's controlling here so the setting like the automated setting right here is what's best selling so shopify wants to feature the product that's doing the most first like the product that's selling the most goes first that's where it's set up Oh, okay. okay. Makes sense. But what I recommend, if you want to feature this product in the collection, you can just change the collection image so that on your home page, it would just first, and then they click in and see the options. Collection image, okay. So yeah, that's just going into, I'm going to go back here. So going into collect, go to products. Mm -hmm. And then you hit collections, and then you're going to see yep. the images for each collection that you set up. So mm -hmm. I only have one collection on my homepage. You click in it, and then you see the main image right here, and then you just swap it out to your newest um, collection that you oh, want to okay. feature. All right. So then it will come on here. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty okay. easy. Mm -hmm. And you know what I would do? I would make this photo square, like a perfect square, like these two, so that they line up with this one. And okay. Same over here. Have you used Canva before? Sorry, have I used what? Canva. Nope. So this is free, and it allows you okay. to perfectly um, size your images um, very easily. So you can just take your image, like save it, and then go into Canva, open up mm -hmm. um, a template, like create a line, and then just make sure it's a perfect square. Like I use, I use the side Instagram post, that like your images. Oh, one second. Uh, oh, sorry. I got to tap out. I'm so sorry. And I want to say thank you for inviting me in this room. I knew I'm very opinionated about this topic, so I apologize for anyone who may be a fan of certain platforms I'm not a fan of. <laughs> but I love to help. I love to share information. And um, if, feel free if you have any web-related questions, Shopify, WordPress, Wix, um, DM me, and I will definitely respond. And thank you so much, Tawana. It was great meeting you, Charlisa and Trice. Eric, guys. Bye. Thank you. Okay, done. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I feel like, yeah, Canva, we did. I say open up a Canva, venture okay. around a little bit, but I use Instagram post size to make every single picture like a perfect, perfect square. So your website is just uniform and there's not some going big, some small. Um, like, for example, like, look at these. I just made them perfect squares. 
down here. These are all perfect squares. Done. And it's all from using this, this one template right here and just throwing my pictures in them. Um, and it's free. Cool. Thank you. Which, um, which template what did you use again, Janelle? What, was it the first one, say Instagram? So when I click on, oh, let me click open Instagram post and I'll show you how it looks. Mm -hmm. hmm, it's loading really slow, but it gives you Canva. It gives you a canvas. Like it's just a graphic okay. tool that you can okay. use to like craft things, design things. You can okay. design your Instagram posts on here or your ads or Facebook, but to just make your photos perfect sizing. So this is the Instagram post size, this perfect square. Gotcha. And whatever gotcha. image you do in it, it just makes it the square. Perfect. I thought that's what it said, but I went for sure. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. Another question. So answer touch of Ankara. Um I guess maybe I'll go in order. Um, I see Troy here. How are you doing? Do you, say do you have any Shopify related questions? Oh, yeah, go ahead. You said Troy, right? I think that was Teresa. Okay, I, I didn't know. Well, I you know what, go ahead, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, um, Teresa. So I, I feel like I've been stalking you on Clubhouse. So I have, um, like, I've listened to you, like, give, a, like, a lot of advice. And so I was just wondering if you could go over my... I feel like I know what you're going to say about my site because based on the advice you give to others, I know I need to clean up my menus and like based on your site and the ones you were commenting on last night, I don't, I, I think I need more white space. Like my, my homepage is just like photo after photo, but I was just wondering if you could mm. like give me some feedback on just. The uh, yeah, what's the site? Do you want to put it in the chat, in the chat box? Yep. I could take a look at it right now. I don't see your site. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna pull it up. And I know you said to do the image optimization so the bottom scrolly picture actually works and I haven't done that yet. The bottom scrolly picture. Oh, I remember the site, yeah. Remember. This, this number threw me off. Free shipping for orders over 72. I'm like, why not 75 or? It, it was like, just like three, three products. I was like three products, I'll give you the free shipping, I guess. I don't know. I can change it though. It just threw me off. <laughs> it's not, you know, it's not a typical, it's just, it just threw me off a tiny bit. This and it designs, I love the logo. Yes, I love the pictures. And I remember you saying that you have a um, children's photography type Facebook group. Like photographers that like taking pictures of their children. Yeah, so I have a Facebook group that that like my they like my shop, but a lot of them also um, their hobby is photography. So in return for discounts, they provide photos of their kids for my site and for my Instagram. Oh, that's so nice. And then your question was, just do to, do I? just any feedback you would have on making it better or like, so people stay on there when I'm looking at, when I go and look at the dashboard, like people just don't stay very long on my site. Um, and mm -hmm. I have a conversion rate of like 6.9, but I'm just trying to figure out what I can do better or have people stay longer and look around. I'm going to look at your site on my phone phone as well, just to see now, and, oh, okay. I would say, 
do you have a top selling item or piece? My scarves are the ones that are selling really big right now. Um, but I do. So I, the way that I kind of do my shop is I feel like it's probably atypical, but I do drops. And so my VIP, I, I, I generate like a hundred percent of my sales pretty much for my VIP. I have like 560 members in there. So they, they kind of know when my next drop is going to be. So like, for example, St. Patrick's day, I just dropped that last week. So mm -hmm. I just let them know when it goes live and then they head over to the site and buy what they want. So I don't, I, I want to do something more than that, but I don't know how, I don't really know how to do it, do that. I just want yeah, people yes. to like organically find me outside of the Facebook group too. Yeah. You know what? I'm looking at it on mobile and it's like the purpose of Shopify would be to just make it easy for someone to shop. And let's say for me to find the item to shop for or the item I'm looking for, your pictures um, could kind of distract me from even looking at, okay, what am I even shopping for? Cause this, yeah, this picture is so cute. And I'm just scrolling and looking at the focal point feels like the pictures and I see the photography side to what your um, brand is about. But then the shop buttons are very like muted. They're just like nicely, you know, designed like the nice design and just placed to the side. And it feels like that's not the focus of your homepage. Um, but then when I go on like an actual category where I can like focus and see yes picture and I see yes this is the category or these are the products like I want to see some prices for something I could just buy and it took me one two three it's going to take me four to five clicks to buy something and I can't just like buy something right off your home page that's a little you know okay so maybe have yeah, like this is, enough, this is enough. So yeah. should I have some like pro find like figure out a way to put like some top products on the actual home page so they can just go right there? I feel like all the pictures you use on your home page in the scroll down format could have been used um could have been a better use of space in a vertical format by using like let's say this could be a slider that slides all those pictures and showcases the different categories. And then you scroll down and then you can start shopping. Okay. Like that's a typical, let's say Shopify format, but you can just make the designs your own and you have really good quality pictures. Um, but I say from that first page to getting to this page, this feels like more of like I, I, I can actually shop here and I'm looking at things um, with prices and reviews and, you know, really nice pictures. So it's very well versed. But then on the main page, I'm only focused on looking at the photos. Does that make sense? Yes. I just need to figure out a way to, to merge the two better or to make it like my homepage shoppable. I had a slider to begin with, but I was listening to, I listened to a ton of podcasts, just about everything. And the guy I was listening to is, I don't know, I, don't, I can't remember who he was, but he's like, knock the slider off. Don't do sliders. Like people's brains are not like, you don't want to take any sort of attention away. So he was like, so I'm like, okay, well, I just, I'll get rid of the slider. So that's why I got rid of it. Okay. I don't know what he was talking about because <laughs> that would be the same thing for saying, oh, don't use video. It's too much going on for people's brains, but video is like the best piece of content right now, like visual content when it comes to like marketing your brand and photos are second. And if you have sliding photos, that's even better. I understand a not making too much and not making it scroll too fast, but I don't really agree with that one. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I'm looking at this long scroll with nothing to really buy, no prices. Um, and that's that's the disconnect there. That's 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 an area for improvement. Thank you. Um, that's just a simple rearrangement, I feel. 
slider, okay. collections, and the rest. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, no worries. No worries. And let's see if Troy is back. Are you back, Troy? And if not, um, if not, then we have Rochelle. I remember it. It's not Marlon. It's Rochelle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hi, everyone. Um, I have a quick question about um, on my site. I made a uh, in the menu bar. I made a lab coat. And I want to know how to add the pictures up under that on the home, under that. My so lab coats, are, my lab are, coats are under accessories. Oops, okay, someone just joined. Let me let them in. Okay, so your lab coats. I'm just going over to your store. Okay. So, what's your question? So, um, so I my, see your lab coats tab. And then, right. And there's nothing under it. So I want to know how to add because my the lab coats they show up under accessories, which they're not supposed to be under there. Okay, so let me show you. And since you are a Shopify, you're on my Shopify support um, clientele list. <laughs> I'm just logging into your site right now to oh, just fine. show you um, while I talk. So. We're gonna go to your, first we're gonna go to your products. Okay. Yep, that's what we're gonna do first. So organizing things and making them try to show up certain places, it's all about the tagging. So I'm gonna look for a lab coat. Um, how many do you have, like a few? Four. So all four of these, right? Mm-hmm. Well, it's actually five, but it's f actually five. I don't know why that Aubrey okay. that showed up in her like clothes. Yeah, I don't know. So let's say I'm gonna I'm gonna select these four. I'm going to go to add tags. This is just a fast shortcut way. You could go into each product and do this, but this is a shortcut. I'm gonna mm -hmm. add the tag lab coat. Right. Okay. Then I'm going to hit save. Okay, let's save. Then I'm going to go into collections. Okay. And then you created this collection called Lab Coats. Uh, I didn't, but you know. Oh yeah, the tab. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The tab on the menu. Okay, so I'm going to open. Um. Well, I don't know. I just see this. No, I didn't, I didn't do that. I didn't do that, but it's there. Okay, so it looks like, hmm. So you have lab coats. So it looks like you already have a collection made. So, okay, let's go to the page. I'm going to go to the online store. I'm going to look in your pages. And then I'm going to open your menu. Where is it? Menu. So it looks like the work has been done for you. I was going to tag those items and then create a collection and put them in, but it's already there. Okay. Um, you have a lab code section with all your lab codes. So okay. I'm going to check what you did in the menu. So let's see. So the only thing I did is just made a tab. Mm, you probably, okay, let's see where this tab is leading to. As soon as it loads. All right, so this is where, I guess for other people, this is where you find your menu. So you go to navigation. Um, the main menu is your top menu. The footer menu is your bottom menu. Um, so I'm going to open up your main menu. We're going to go to lab codes and see what you put in here. And that is why your lab coats aren't going to lab coats because it's going to your homepage menu, which it's going to your homepage, homepage collection, which you currently don't have a homepage collection. Okay. So I'm gonna X this and then we're gonna go to collections mm -hmm. and then we're gonna look for lab coats. Mm -hmm. And now this is linking to your lab coats. We're gonna press apply okay. and we're gonna hit save. 
And then we are going to look at a preview of your site. Yeah. And then we're going to hit lab coats. And we're going to pray. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so okay. yeah, so here's your lab coats. OK, OK. Yeah. So now I can so go yes, under it's just that reason to read them. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah. So well, you got to go into the actual accessory item okay. and just remove the tab. Accessory. Remove the tag that you don't want. Yeah. Okay. Got you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yay. Okay. That was good. Um, I see there's a new person in the room. LaBelle, how are you doing? Oh, Marlon's. Oh, no, no, you're here. It's not Marlon. That's me. That's me. That's me. <laughs> I keep thinking it's Troy because he just disappeared. I but, know. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, everybody, this is the Shopify Q&A session. So it's just like Clubhouse for anyone here who's familiar with the Clubhouse setup, but it's more visual. Um, you ask me a question and I'll answer it on a visual basis and share my screen with you. Um, so if you want me to take a look at your site, I can do that. How do I turn visits to sales? That is a very good question. <laughs> um, touch of my car. Um, yeah, so if you have a question, you can just open up your mic and chat because this is a smaller group um, than last okay. week. And if you want to look at your site, you can just throw your domain in there. But yeah, you, you're asking, how do I turn visits into sales? Yep, I've got <laughs> lots of visits, but no sales as such. So. Um, let's say the first step is the conversion rate should be like, let's say the standard is 2%. So I want to know like how many visits okay. are you getting currently? Like what's the number? Um, like the, the first two weeks I had like 200 and something visits. And then I saw a Shopify thing at the bottom that says, oh, the first sale is usually after 465 visits. Yep. So that's number one. Okay. Actually, that's number two. So increasing okay. your traffic leads to more sales and leads to hopefully better conversion. Okay. Uh, but number one, you don't want to increase your traffic if your site isn't user friendly to make those sales. So... I'll use like an example of, hmm. oh, I'm gonna go, let me just go back to your site. Let's go back. Okay. I'm gonna click on your site. So making it super easy, let's say after you maybe advertised and marketed something um, on social media or however, and then somebody sees that advertisement, comes to visit the site, but they are not, let's say, visually appealed to shop. They probably don't um, connect with the site. Um, there's some issues where some people, their images don't make them connect, or maybe it can be your pricing. Um, let's say there's some people, um, users will click on the item, add it to their cart, but then just abandon it from there. So there's so many different reasons why and how your site may not convert, but that's where the numbers come into play. Um, have you been looking at any numbers of how people actually interact with your site? Do you hear me? Um, on the analytics, yes. Um, so do you see like which pages are the most popular? Um, where do your customers usually leave? Like at what stage? Mm -hmm. Do you see like what? At least I go through it to see what's what. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so you got to go through it and see because let's say people yes, make I do. it. And then sometimes when I have received. Mm -hmm. No, no, go on. Yep. I, I want to hear your answer. Okay, because when people like, when I have returned guests, it tells me, okay, this person has returned for the third time or something. Mm -hmm. So I try to like go through the analytics to see what is what, but 
I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, I feel like re the numbers don't lie. It's like it tells you a really good idea. It's like we can sit here and guess of like, oh, maybe we should tweak this or do that. But the numbers really tell you specifically. So oh. I would want you to look at your analytics and see, okay, where are they falling off? What do they like the most? What are people um, adding to their carts? That is one big first step. And then step number two, you have to increase your traffic because you might think that 200 is a lot, but in the world, in this online world, 200 is like nothing. Like some people need like, as Shopify recommend, the average sale is like, the average first sale is made after 400 to 500 views. So that's a lot. You need thousands to make dozens of sales. Mm -hmm. And you need tens of thousands to make mm -hmm. you know, a good income on your Shopify store. Um, oh. I, <laughs> I can give you some pointers. <laughs> um, the home page, this image mm -hmm. that you replaced, because I remember we had a smaller, a smaller um, yeah. spider there. Bag. I feel like we need to put the most clean image on that on that um home page area like your best okay. has to go for that so this right. image it's cut off it's really too close you have to look to see oh this okay. is a purse or could something else put the most clean image here put your staple oh. put your top seller so that when you when someone goes on the site it's like i'm this is where i'm supposed to be but for it to be like okay. cropped off, you need you need to replace this first image. This image is okay. better than that first image. It's nicely placed. You can see the fabrics and the materials. This is an amazing image. So basically, this is amazing as well. Basically, remove that first image. Like, do you agree that these three images okay. look way better and nicely placed? And this one is okay. cropped. Like it's a nice product, but it's not mm -hmm. displaying in the section well. Okay, okay, thank you. Do that. Then number two, as I said, make these more mm -hmm. square. Make these more square. Okay. But I feel like yeah. your product should be doing really well. Um, we're in Black History Month. You know, the buy black. Mm -hmm. I don't want to call it trend, but that's what's going on right now. Um, I feel like I've been giving people tips to reach out to micro influencers and um, possibly give them a product. Um, they could do a review for possibly free or pay them to take pictures with it. And you have like a real person with your product um, with a following okay. that will promote your product for you. So mm. that's an idea that I've been sharing with people, especially um, now in these social media times. So yeah, it's a good first step to increase okay, thank your visitors. You. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. And I see Yashika joined us. Hey girl. <laughs> hey, Yashika. can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. How are you I doing? Have, I'm doing great. I added something to the site. I want you to look at it. Okay. So I'm looking at how important so people are typing in here and I'm just catching up. And Yashika, Yashika, you would imagine I have the worst memory of life and I can't it's remember okay. every single thing that's so made. <laughs> I'm it's like, okay. I feel so horrible. I worked with you yesterday and I really can't remember the thing. No, it's okay. You do you do all these um trainings, so I know it's crazy. Um so it's a blur. <laughs> it's okay. It's mom and then hustle oh, hard. Oh, 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 it's saved. <laughs> Mom's hustle hard. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, so you went ooh, look so at like, the site, guys. This is amazing. Yes, go on. So I added, like, when you go to the top, I added, like, a discount code. Are you looking at it from the desktop? It should have popped up. Oh, there it is. Can you see it at the top? Is it too small? Get 10% off. 
And does this, do I have to press it to get this pop-up or will this pop-up come another way as well? Um, I don't know. I, I use Privy. Is that the site? P-R-I-V-Y? I use um, that. Yeah. They should give you different options of how do you want people to get this pop-up. Um, so some people set it up where, where if you're scrolling and as soon as your mouse goes to the X, it will be like, nope, get 10% off. Or they would set it up as maybe after three or five seconds, it would just nicely fade in. Um, so there's different ways. I don't think that this would possibly work for me okay. to click on it as a new customer. It okay. just looks cute sitting there, <laughs> but I'm not too sure if that's something that I would be tempted to just say, oh yeah, let me press this and see, unless I'm like dedicated and I came on here already and I'm not new to you. And I'm like, I'm just gonna buy this bag. Like that's what I came here for. And let me get this 10% too. But if you're trying to attract new people, you need to kind of like have it pop up. Yeah, yeah you gotta I, sell it. I'm gonna go back and play with it then because I had it on 10 seconds and then it's supposed to pop up, but that was my first time. I literally just did it before I got on this call. <laughs> oh. Well, you did the branding really nicely and hmm, 10%. I would say try test doing 10%, get 10% off your first order as your header. Like put that as your selling point, like big, get 10% off your first order. And then start the sentence with join the move, join moms, join the moms hustle hard movement and never miss out on our new products. Like, you know, like make okay, the sentence of the text. But yeah, okay. this is really good branding. I like the, I like the pops of red now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back and play with it because that was my first time actually doing it. I watched a YouTube video for like an hour to figure that out. <laughs> you did a good job and um, you're still, you're ready to launch. So Sunday, right? <laughs> yes, Sunday, tomorrow. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so. I wonder if there's any other questions, guys. Oh yeah, let me read the chat. I'm not reading this. Um, how important are alt tags to SEO and Shopify? Um, the short answer is very important. Um, let's say in the beginning stages of you opening your Shopify store, a lot of people aren't too um, focused on SEO. I feel like that's the next level um, of when you got your site, um, let's say 99 or 100% how you want it, um, you're getting sales consistently, you figured out your marketing strategies, and now you're at the point where what other improvements can I make? That's when people start to look at SEO heavily. Um, so yes, in a perfect world, I would say everyone should just make sure Sure, their tags were all perfect and make sure this make sure that but as a new site i'm not gonna lie it's there's a lot there's a large ocean of sites that have been out there for longer than you and having your seo perfect in the beginning could kind of be a little time consuming where that time could be focused and honed in on getting some sales and um just making your site convert good and figuring out a strategy um so yeah the answer to that is SEO, alt tags, meta tags, everything search engine optimization related is important. Um, but just start with the baby steps. Make sure you have your, um, I'll show you. Let me show you. Oh, I can just go in product. Let's, let's go. I'm going to get out of here and go to my site. So let's say you go into every single product and every single collection and you scroll down to this area that says search engine listing preview and you edit that. So you're supposed to have um, a perfect description here with 
Your page title, your description should definitely have the keywords that you're looking to target. So this, like when you're at that level of, I wanna perfect my SEO, you would go through every single product and make sure this area is completely filled out to your liking and to your research of what keywords you're trying to target. And you do that with your products, your collections, you do that with all your images. <laughs> you would just basically go through each area with a fine tooth comb. So I hope that answered your question. That seems, I don't know if you had a follow up. That seems like a lot of work and you're right. I have a lot more stuff to focus on than that because oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I think I said that on my call this morning. Um, I was speaking to someone this morning um, about marketing and I'm like, think of it as like you start, you're doing continuous research and you start off with the free research, which you're marketing your sites in free on free platforms and free ways, whether it's social media, directories, word of mouth, whatever, you're just starting to test the waters. Then out of that free, you're gonna see what's actually doing good, what's working. Then you wanna invest some money into that. So if you see that Instagram's working or, or Pinterest is working and your ads are doing well and getting you sales, you're gonna wanna put some money and promote and put like, just invest in that. Then when you invest in those social media platforms, you're gonna to elevate to invest into the search engine platforms like Google, Yahoo, Bing, all that. So it's kind of like levels. You don't wanna just jump to the SEO when you kind of have to navigate on the waters of the less expensive options to test what exactly it is your customers like, who exactly your customers are. You're doing a lot of research right now. Hope that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Thank you. Along. <laughs> yeah. Um, recommended Shopify apps. Okay, so I have, I'm like the type of person when it comes to apps and when I go to the clubhouse and I hear all these rooms of like, top 100 apps or these are my top a thousand apps or you know like you hear so many good apps and I don't look at it as like this is the best app um, unless it's Clavio. <laughs> I look at it as like these are the best these are the best or top categories of apps that you must have on your site and then you do your research on which specific app is right for you and your customers. Okay, so I hope you're following with me. So let's say I say that I'm recommending that everyone should have a chat app. If you want some like really good, efficient, fast customer service, have a chat app on your Shopify store. Which chat app, uh, which chat app I cannot tell you specifically that this is the number one chat app because I feel like there are a few number ones. And I feel like it depends on how fast are you with communicating via, let's say you wanna download the WhatsApp chat app, you wanna download the Shopify chat app, do you wanna download the Facebook Messenger chat app? There's so many that are good, but are your customers mainly on Facebook Messenger? Do you use it? Can you keep up with it? Or do you want to use a simple WhatsApp platform? Do you want to use the email text version that Shopify offers? So I say, yes, have a chat app, but go into the Shopify app store, type in the keyword chat and look through the reviews, look through the pricing structure of these apps, because you don't want to just buy something because someone said, and it's not the right thing, and it costs you an extra how many dollars a month just because someone said so. So I say look at the chat app that's right for you. Um, another type of app you should definitely have is a review app is necessary, a review app. So you want to have that from the jump so that when anyone orders an item from you, it just automatically gives them the option within um, three days, seven days, 30 days, it just automatically sends them a email or alert to write a quick review. And then you start collecting those things. There are so many good review apps on Shopify. And as I said, type in the keyword, look at the top rated, read the comments, 
look at the pricing. Does it like some are free, some are this much a month? Look at the features and pick the one that you feel looks good for your store and is right for your store and right for you. So you should have a chat app. You should have a review app. You should have a social proof app. Um, a social proof app, um, I'll give you an example if you don't know what it is. Do you have one? Let me, you gotta say that. I have one. Um, who said that? What's your Rochelle. site? Is it your site? B Dynamic has one. Oh, B, B Dynamic, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can recognize the voice. Okay, so I'll give you an example. So see this little pop-up on, it says what? Someone in Johnston, United States purchased a jogger and they'll populate another one as I'm scrolling around. It's gonna say, oh, Sally from Texas just viewed this pro the same product you're on. So it's just giving um, your customers that social proof and that realistic feel that this site is really being used by people around me. And there are free social proof apps. Is this one free that you're using? Yes, it's free. And there's paid ones. They all do pretty much the same thing, but have different features um, or add-ons to them. Um, were you going to say something? So I just, yeah. yeah, I was just going to ask, do I just look for, so I just type in social proof into the app store and then read the reviews? Yep. Let's do a quick okay. live. Like we go into this app store right here. Click apps. It's going to ask you to visit the Shopify app store. It might ask you to log in again. It might not. I think it asks me because I have a bunch. Oop, wait, let me go to this one. I have a bunch of stores. Okay, so you're here, and then when you go to search apps, you want to you want to treat it like Google. You don't want to be too specific because you want to get a good search to go through um, the type of app you're looking for and look at all the options. So if you just type in the exact name of an app, it's not going to give you a good result instead of typing in the category. So I give you the category social proof, and boom. You just click on that. Then here's the results. So we have reviews.io is pretty popular. Um, we have this one, one plus sales pop. This does spin the wheel. This is a whole bunch of add-ons and things, including social proof. So sales pop is social proof. Um, we have the social proof urgency app. We have this one with 6,000 reviews. So look at all these options. But what I would do is yes, my first step is picking the top few um, well-reviewed ones. My third step is to look at, okay, what are the pricing structures of these? Because even if it's the best reviewed, I'm not paying $100 a month, you know? <laughs> like, I'm not going to just do that for an app that I can get for free. But then I definitely want to go in and read these reviews because you will see that sometimes, even though there's a lot of reviews, there will be some really bad things that you could have avoided if you just read through and skimmed through. Um, so yeah, I just read through these. Then I look at the pricing. I like the structure. I can grow with this app because yes, I think I'm going to have a hundred visitors, but I could bump up to 10,000. Like, you know, this is doable. Um, then I want to look at how it looks like you got to look at how the app will like how the setup set section looks, because if you see anything with like additional coding required, you don't want that app. You don't want that stress. And there can be apps out there that are just a one click type app. Um, and let's say the app just looks really not pleasing, like the placement's not nice. Just try another app or, you know, download it, test it out for the free trial. So I never really just go with one app that, that someone says I kind of do my own research. So I hope that helps. Yes, thank you. And let me just, I'm going to type it in the chat of the types of apps from the app categories. I'll give you like, I'll give you the 
keywords. So if you need a chat app, you need a social proof app, you need a review app, and uh, what am I missing? I wanna say when you get to the next level um, and you're making sales, consistent sales, in order to increase that, you wanna get a split pay app. So um, I'm not too sure if you guys know what that is. So there's companies out there that offer split payment options. Um, some companies like Sezzle, QuadPay, and I'll show you, I think B-Dynamic, you have one set up. Well, I'm trying to after pay. I don't, it's not set up yet. Have, okay, so let me go to, okay, so I'll show you what I mean. And this is for, as I said, when sales, I feel like this is a new trend that even big retailers um, that are doing e-commerce are using. And then the small retailers that are picking up this trend are actually getting a lot more sales. Um, it can turn like a customer's $100 order into a $400 order of one transaction. Um, so the way that works is this, this um, person sells CMOS, it's like a health product. Um, let's say a customer came on here with a budget of, let's say $50. They just wanna buy some CMOS, buy some beauty products or you know soap or whatever, and just be, Uh, let's make it let's go to the next screen and then they get here and they're like okay I'm halfway through my budget let me just add a couple more things let me add this one to my cart first but let's make it load man this is going slow okay there so they reach to this point and they say oh I'm gonna spend I have $24 but it says in this little text or for interest free payments of $625 with Sezzle so this is called split payments, where the customer who came on here with a $50 budget now can say, hey, I can buy more because I'm only gonna pay $625 today. So let me just add on until I reach $50 in four equal payments. So this customer increased their budget because they know that they have more to spend if they have this split pay option. Um, how it works is that this company, Sezzle, is an app that you integrate onto your Shopify. Um, there's other split pay apps like quad pay. Um, I'll give you another list, but you can, as I said, do your research. They, you get your full money that is spent on the products. They handle separately the customer's separate payments. And they just take a little fee from whatever the product price is. So it does work out really well for, as I said, the customer, well, the people in Shopify who are making sales, like, not saying you have to make like thousands of sales to use this, but you're making consistent enough sales where it makes sense for you to use it. Um, all you have to do is apply with Sezzle. They get back to you in like a day and you set up and connect your Sezzle account to your store. And then it would just automatically populate this text. So split payments is a new app trend that I do recommend. Um, there's one more, but it is slipping my brain, but it's okay. I hope that helps. <laughs> um, recommend the Shopify apps. Do you have any you have worked with? So is that in relation to the Shopify apps? No, no, no. That question was about, um, do you, um, influencers you were talking about, I said, did you have any that you have worked with influencers? You know what? Um, yeah, I can't recommend because I work with influencers on a design side. So I design websites for like creatives, influencers. That's like my WordPress job. And then this is Shopify related. So gotcha. yeah, I don't have anything I can recommend without being like kind of, yeah, it doesn't, it just doesn't feel professional. And it's probably like you have to look at how you're scouting your influencers, you're doing it by the industry. So you're selling um, scrubs yeah. and medical gear. 
you would have to look for influencers within that medical field and offer them product to, let's say you have, I have a nurse influencer I've worked with. Um, she has a really good following on Instagram. She's a young millennial nurse talking about her life working uh, on the front lines. She has a really good following on YouTube. And then you send her some of your scrubs and say, oh, can you promote this? She, she promotes this to her YouTube and Instagram following. Oh, these are scrubs from B Dynamics um, that I was sent. They're really comfortable. And she has a following of other nurses who follow her because they like her and they relate to her. So that's the type of gotcha. scouting I would do. That's the type of scouting. And you know gotcha. what's so funny? My sister is that person I was describing. <laughs> so I will, <laughs> I will send you her um, info. She's a travel nurse and she no, is totally. type of an influencer. She does like YouTube and um, Instagram a lot. Oh, yes, definitely. Thank you. I would definitely appreciate it. Okay, this is her. Wait, since, um, you work with um, since you work with influencers, I, I try to find, try to have tried to find some in the area that I work is like kids apparel. How do you, get, how do you get past the like fake follower, like not much in a, like interaction or it look it appears to be um like paid interaction like how do you work through that noise and actually get to people who have a a good following that they're connected with beyond paying for likes and follows okay so um i just typed in the chat box i say that you are highly correct it's like people let's say the first step is I see a lot of people buying followers and then you can tell the bot followers versus the real followers by the conversion in their um, interactions with their likes and their comments. So then people started buying likes and it's like, okay, you're buying followers and you're buying likes. How can I tell if this is a real account? Then it's like left to the comments. So I really strongly look at the amount of comments more than even the follower number because you say people buy likes. Yeah, people buy <laughs> likes. <laughs> like you see a post with like five thousand likes, but then you'll scroll down weeks ago and it's like like a hundred likes each or fifty likes each. Um, people can boost their likes and buy the likes for a certain period of time when they're promoting things. And then they'll just stop buying them and then your likes are back to normal. Um, yeah, there's companies that do that, but it's not recommended because, um, yeah, Instagram, yeah, you can get your account shut down or it just makes you look bad in general, not authentic. But um, yeah, comments are what I look at. And just as I said, people have bought followers, they've bought likes. People are now buying comments as well. Don't get it wrong. Um, you can have bots make comments, but at least you can visually look at these comments and scroll through and see what's authentic and what's not. You can visually look at the comment count to see if it's um, in line and consistent. They have This person has consistent engagement. So that's what I look at. Um, to find a starting point, I typed in the chat this website called Social Blue Book. And they do give you a price range. And let's say you type in an influencer you found into this website and they'll give you like, okay, this is their stats. This is their rate. This is what, like, it just gives you like a, just a blue book format of this is how much this person is worth on a social aspect. Um, if you want them to promote for you. Um, but then if if you're looking at the micro influencer side, I'm definitely feeling like don't look at the follower count. Don't even pay too much attention to the like count. Look at that engagement in the comments. And I would take a person with 200 comments and a thousand followers over any day over like a person with 20, 50,000 followers and 10 comments. Like who would you really pick to promote your product? Right, that's so true. Awesome, thank you. Good advice. Yeah. Yeah, 
It's just from like, I guess, experience too of seeing that and knowing that tech realm of, I can just scroll through Instagram and see, oh, that's fake. Oh, that's real. Oh, that's a fake account. Like I can see now, but a lot of people can't see and they don't know what's going on behind the scenes sometimes. But yeah. Um, I see another question. Is any app to save on is there any app to save on fees in Shopify when it comes to payments? So um is that when it comes to the monthly payment of the 29 or just apps, you mean? Uh can you hear me? Hello? Uh, yeah. So okay, yeah. So I don't really know how to ask the question because I was on Clubhouse. And a lady was mentioning about, I'm, I'm not sure if it's an app, but she said like every time when somebody buys something on your Shopify, what Shopify send on your account, sometimes like the percentage is high and there is something that they can do in the back side or back end to reduce that amount. But I was not sure because I don't really know what she was talking about. I think you have to explain that again. So I will try my best to explain. I was on Clubhouse and the lady says that uh, when people purchase on Shopify, for example, they pay $29. Shopify might send you like 26 because they have some coding. I don't know if it's like PayPal or something, but for you to avoid uh, losing a lot of money when it comes to payment, something like that, there is some stuff that you can install on your back end I didn't really understand what she was talking about, but I think it was maybe the percentage of how much they takes when somebody buys something on your website. I don't know if you know. No, I see. I kind of get the gist of what you're saying. And I feel like maybe she was talking about the payment integration side because yes, you can use Shopify to integrate your payments and then you can use PayPal for payments and then there's a third party payment integrations like stripe and just mm -hmm. so much um and all the fees are completely different and different percentages um so i'm not too sure if maybe she was talking about i think she installing was talking another about payment the payment app. integration yeah so you can install install um an external not external but a different payment gateway application so that you can accept payments not using Shopify, but another cheaper alternative. Um, there's some people who use like Square and they have to download an app to integrate their Square payment system because they'd rather use that than Shopify. Um, so I get that, but there, I don't see there being a way where Shopify would say, hey, here's an app to make you, to make us make less money. <laughs> like Shopify, they need to get their money for using their services. Um, but I think she was talking about external payment options. And that works for people in different countries who don't have access to, let's say PayPal as a payment option or even Shopify payments um, is can be difficult to get in. Um, like I, I heard a girl in Egypt, they wouldn't accept it because you need like a different, I think, U.S. bank account and all that. Um, I worked with people in Bermuda, same thing, couldn't accept it unless you have a U.S. bank account. Um, some places in Africa, same thing. You need to work with Stripe and not um, PayPal or anything else. So there's there's options and some people take those options to save money and some people take those options because it's their only option because of their location. Okay, so what's your thought on that? Do you think Shopify is just better or what? Better than using like, an external, a different payment section? Yes. yes. I think, okay, where are you? Where are you? Are you in the U US or outside yeah. of the US? US. Okay, so that's easy. Shopify is better. <laughs> I feel like it is easier for you to save 0.5% per transaction and pay for an external app, get it integrated, and it's not Shopify, and you want to just save point something percent, that doesn't seem worth it to me unless you have to do it. Okay. That's, yeah. I, I don't think it's worth it. I feel like that's one of those things that when you're making 
that money where that 0.5% is a lot of money, you're going to want to pay someone to find a solution that's specific to your store and the best solution and not a solution that someone on Clubhouse recommended because blah, blah, blah. You don't have that problem. So don't solve a problem you don't have. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is funny to me because this is how I forget you could see my face because I'll be on Clubhouse and I know you can't see me and I'm like looking at my phone like this, but I'm like, I forget you guys can see me. <laughs> this is how I answer <laughs> questions. And that, that's just okay. Like, and that's fine. <laughs> this is a little different. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, any other questions? I have like 10 more minutes. I have one question if nobody has one. Okay. So just maneuver, yes. uh, maneuvering see. around in um, on your homepage, how do you change? Because I don't, I don't want to mess up anything, but I'm trying to change just um, a topic on my, one of the topics on the homepage. Um, when you say topic, well, on the home page, you know, I have like three sections. I have view accessories. Well, I don't really want the view accessories on the home page. I want it to be lab coats. Like right here, it changed because it was lab coats because lab coats were in accessories. But now I want that whole category to be lab coats where it says view all lab coats. Oh, okay. So when you change this to view all lab coats, it's gonna show all lab coats here. You know okay. that? Right, so That's when I went, I yeah, I went in to try to change it, but I didn't wanna click anything. So is that what you want though? You want yeah, all lab coats Yeah, I want here? that to be lab coats, mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Let's go into edit. Uh, I can close that. And then mm, okay, right here. Hello. <laughs> I feel like it's just really slow and heavy because I'm on this session and I'm recording it. So oh. it's like, okay. it's lagging, it's doing a lot of work. Okay, so right here, see accessories? Mm -hmm. Right. Click that open and I'm gonna click change. Okay. And then I'm gonna click lab coats oh and then I'm gonna okay that and easy then we're gonna see the magic look at that oh god <laughs> okay i'm embarrassed that i even asked that question you know what you know what people always forget after that easy little thing they exit out of here and they forget to hit the save button and they're like why didn't it do anything uh, but okay some areas shopify auto saves and some areas you have to check this corner okay you know? Thank you. So yeah, I saved you an hour. <laughs> yeah, it, literally, you just don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll answer one more question if there's another question. And I want to leave you guys with a link to my new site that I need some reviews on. <laughs> so... I want, um, right now I'm offering website audits. Um, so I do video audits where I just record my screen and just go through a site in a video and send it to you. Or I do like the written report style, which that's what I'm used to with my WordPress clients. They want everything in a report so they can send it to the specific designer they're working with or group they're working with or team to review. So I offer that service now because it's really popular on Clubhouse. Um, and then I'm offering my Shopify design services, which you guys don't need because you guys have sites already. But anyone looking for um, their website to be designed, I can do that. And then I have the support group, which 
you guys are doing something similar to what I would typically do in a support group where I would host these sessions and help you in a support sense. Um, I have the WhatsApp group where if you text me there, I'll text you back. And Instagram has lately become a very popular platform for me to just message people back with support answers. Um, so yeah, this is my audit product. If you guys are interested in having your website audited, 50 bucks, blah, blah, blah. You can read that. Um, this is my design services. So if you have a one product store that needs to be designed, I charge 150 and I think that's reasonable because I'm just charging for my time. Um, for a store with up to 10 products, I charge 250. Again, really reasonable. <laughs> And um, it goes up from there. So if you have like a 50 product store, 40 product store, the price just keeps going up because I'm charging for my time. And then last is my Shopify support group, which as I said, I offer email support, WhatsApp support, these one-on-one -on -one sessions, these weekly group virtual sessions, um, but you get more access than what we're doing right now to me. <laughs> you get me at midnight when you have a question, right, Rochelle? <laughs> um, yeah, so. Absolutely. I will be the first <laughs> to review. So if you could write a, just click on this write a review button, you guys, because this is a part of my support, let's say, service um, that is weekly. You can just leave your review and experience any tip you learned that you find value in. So I want these reviews to be like a learning experience as well for anyone who's reading it. So that would be much appreciated. I'll leave the link in the chat right here. Oh, someone just asked. So there's a link, okay. just click on that. And then you scroll down to write a review and then you put your name and your email and you, you gotta put five stars, please. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then um, whatever you feel like saying. So that would be appreciated. And I'm gonna host another one of these next week. I'm doing it every Saturday, 3 p.m. indefinitely until the wheels fall off. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah, I hope you guys learned a few things this session. And um, if you have any questions, DM me, email me. I'll be on Clubhouse tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern. We're doing a Shopify and Facebook ads room again. Um, I think it's under the Hustlers Club. But the link to that is in my um, Instagram bio. And it's on my website, too, I think. Yeah, it's on my link tree right here. So you'll see the link there. Alrighty, guys. You guys had a good session today. You're gonna have a good rest yes, of your we day did. or week. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like this was All right, guys. I'm gonna log out. Have a great week. All right. Thank you too. Bye, everybody. Thank you, LaBelle. What Bye. Review Thank app you. Is that? <laughs> Thank you. Um, you already have a review app. <laughs> I don't have a review app. You don't? I, mm -mm. I thought you did. We talked about it, but I never, we never did it. We said, we said we were going to wait on that and get everything else ironed out first. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that was your next step. Yeah. Okay, so I'll give you the name of my review app. But as I said, okay, here it is. These are all my apps. So I have judge.me. That's my product review app, this one. Judge. Fabio is my email. Right. Yeah, judge.me. Judge.me, okay. That, yeah, thank you. Yeah, print. This is my subscription app. So I have this for my subscriptions now. Okay. And then this is my digital downloads that I'm testing right now. All righty. Okay. So I'll be emailing. Right. I'll be emailing you because we still got to figure out how to clean up. So I'll email you. That I don't know how yeah, to. Take I'm going to be checking. All you say what? Oh, I'll be checking all my messages in like okay. half an hour, right after. Okay, that's cool. 
Yeah, because I, I sent you a message and it's those sizes. I had to go in and I, I fixed it, the sizes, but I just need to that one particular size that goes up to a 4X and I, we need to remove that one tab out of like gifts and the accessories and stuff. So I'll email you. Yes, the list of accessory items that don't have, they're yes. like one well, size. Well, the gift card, accessory items, and then I don't know, were you keeping that drop down and removing the sizes? I didn't know what you were doing. So as a temporary fix, cause I'm like, oh my gosh, like something needs to be done. That app was like the fastest yeah. to just add size to everything. But yeah. now we're at the stage where, okay, we've fixed it. This is a band aid. Now we got to go in and take out like those little pieces, as you said. And then the bigger job that's left is removing the mistake after. Because okay. if, if, if your store wasn't drop shipping, it would be way easier. But since it's drop shipping, any move you make, no, my store is not drop shipping. I'm not drop. I'm not oh, drop shipping. Shoot! Oh my gosh! Why did I think it was drop shipping? Uh, -uh. I'm I'm sending it myself. Uh, that makes a little difference. Because I was thinking, any move that I make, and if I take out an item or placement of that mm -mm. variant, it might mess up your your suppliers, but that makes, no. man, this person who set this up, they literally messed up so much that Ugh. could have been saved in 10 seconds. So they could have so just literally checked things out. <laughs> real quick, real quick, before you get off, real quick, I went into the yoga product and really fast, and I won't keep you, the yoga product, and I, I made all the sizes I did medium, I'm sorry, regular, petite, and tall. And I made three different mm -hmm. pants just to see if I could do it. And I did it. I, I made one and then I duplicated the other two. So in the yeah. pant, you'll see, uh, and I can keep it that way because it kind of helps people to just that product, not any other product because the other brand, it's the, it's the Ava Yoga Pants. So if you see, I right did the petite, regular, and tall. Okay, and it me. works because those pants are so confusing in the sizes that they are. Mm, okay, let me look at the actual product. Yeah, so it, it works. It works because they go up to 5X. Mm. Um, okay, and to do this, you use the regular Shopify variant, right? Yep, I, I did it. Yeah, I did it myself. Uh, let me see, let me, oh, right here. Yeah, so these, so see how, when you added this variant, all you had to do was type XSX, XXS, yeah. and then yeah. comma, XXS, yes. and then comma, yes. you put the color, oh, your designer, she was, I don't know if she was lazy, but she did XXS dash da da da, yes. and it messed everything. But she made like, it sound like I, she only did it that way because I sent her a file like that, I know. I know. So this is what I did. I, I did it because I wanted to see if I could knew how to do it, you know? So <laughs> na so do you suggest I keep that drop down you got or should I go back and do this? Hmm. <laughs> I'm just like still like, um... okay, let me see. Hold on. So yeah, if you go to that product, I did it. I want to see this product. I want to see it. Yeah, that's all she had to do. But I know. The problem is to reverse it. That is the problem. I know. You literally like. Okay, so this thing is up to display in every product. I can remove that for select products. So that's the easy part. This is set up perfectly, right? Yeah. The way you did it. Perfect. Yeah. But all the one she did. I know. Here are the options. Here are the options that I'm looking at. Option number one, which is the one that really I don't want to do and I don't want you to go through it, is to literally remove and recreate each product. Right. I know. Do you want to do that? I don't want right. to do that either. I know. Option number know. two. <laughs> option number two is to find a way to easily remove just the section and then and use keep that. an application. 
Right. Yes. Yeah. So that's, I've been trying to work in option number two and tr trying not to go option number one, but it's every time I'm trying, like, let's keep tweaking and trying. If maybe we need to have like a cutoff of like, you know what, if it's not working, we both have to go in <laughs> and recreate each product. And that's a lot. Well, what that's I do, what I, well, it, 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 it wasn't what I did on, the, did, I did just this product and it wasn't horrible. It was, you know, I had to figure oh. it out. But so, but so but for me, I said, okay. I'm a, like, I've been doing this for 40, 50 products. It's going to take me oh, like I six know. hours. Oh, I know. I know it's going to take me a long time too. <laughs> now listen, listen. Yeah. So you see yeah. where that says, please select your, your size. Yes. That's in this particular product right now. Is there any way we can take it off on this particular product? Yeah. So because it's, because it's wrong now, because those sizes go up to five X. So let me show you the app that I've found to do that. So uh -huh. I don't know if you, then if you show me how to take it off, I could take it off of the accessories. Um, okay. So I went into apps and I was testing, I think I was on my third app that I was okay. testing and this was the most recent, I think. Okay. So let me, yep, open that's it. it. Yep. That's it. Let me open it up. Cause remember I downloaded one before and then I had to contact support. Yep. 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 Support never got back. <laughs> Check the options set is available. So yeah, that's and the so one you did. Thank you, whatever. So we gotta go on the back end. Okay. Um, okay, so is this it? I think this is it. That's it. That. And yeah, please select your size. And then we go here to products. And then we select the products. I put it on all, right? So right. I can take it off all, put it on manual. Just oh, actually, put it on automate, and then product tag is equal to. What if we tag all products with the keyword size? that you actually want this size thing to come up on and don't tag products that don't tag products with that and it won't have it on that. So what about XX small to three? We, we can make different ones. So oh. maybe we can make one, one of these drop down fields will show for only let's tag it XX small to whatever, like tag it the way you want it. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. But do it have to go? So what about the accessories? How do we take it off of that? So remember, only products we tag, this is going on. If it's an oh. accessory, we just don't tag it. Gotcha. Okay. So then, then it would be XX small to 3X. Yeah. So let me just do the example. So XX small to 3X. Mm -hmm. So any product we tag with this is going to get this one that I made. Okay, that that should work. Okay, so we got to remember this tag. Let's copy it. Um, we're going to all conditions. Product tag is equal to, and then we're gonna save it. That should Done. work because it'll and come off of accessories. Yeah, we gotta go in products, and then I'll figure out like the coats and stuff. I, we might have to change it, but I'll go. I'll tell you what you have to add. I'll send your email. So I guess just quickly, um, tell me like this doesn't need it. No. 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 Knit top, yeah. Uh, yeah. That the, the, all that stuff needs it. Um, so that jacket, accessory, yeah. there's a more accessories. No, no. warm up jacket, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Badge, no. Surgical hat, no. No. No, 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 no. Consultation coat, well, yes. Well, they, they, they're going to be different. So I'll, we'll go back in and do those later. You can undo all of them. 
So all of the lab coats? Yeah, because undo? they'll be different because they, they go, they, no, do those lab coats. They go to 3X. Okay. Um, scrub top, yes. Jogger pants, yes. So what we're gonna do is take all these products and we're going to add the tag that we just created and we're going to save it. Okay. Saved. We're gonna go on the site and refresh. And I'll go back in and do the jogger pants because it should have came off of those yoga pants because they went up to 4X. Mm. Let's pick a random product. Pick these cargo pants. Let's see. Mm. Just tagged you in an IG. Oh. Huh. And then here we are. So it's in here. It's there. Uh -huh. We got to go to a random accessories. Let's go to your accessories and see if it's there. Um, let's go to these bubbles. Those are socks. And, oh, okay. Bubble socks. And it's not here. Not there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was a little fix. Yeah. And then yeah. now we got to, that's the big thing is. <laughs> That one tiny mistake. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, just, I'll I'll keep looking know. because in the um, in the um, the yoga pants. Let me see if it went on to that one, the talls, and it it came off. Yeah, it's off, right? Because we didn't tag those. Oh, nope. It it's still on there, but it goes on there to three. It's still on there. So did we tag those? Must have because it's it's it only goes up to extra it goes up to I, I changed that to make it right so it, we must have tagged those because it's still that line's still on there okay wait um so i the yoga pants to... i fixed all three of the yoga pants the regulars the petites and the talls so by me fixing those that that we don't need that line no more we don't need that pop down and drop down because okay, this so we thick. just got to it. Yeah, we gotta okay. untag it. Okay, okay, so, that's what you're saying. Untag it. Okay. Yeah, remember this list right here? We we checked off yoga pants, but we shouldn't have checked them, right? Okay, so those three so, don't need it. So wait, yoga, yoga, yoga. Yeah, those. Uh huh. Then, so you just check them. You go there. You go and you go to rem remove tag. Rem okay. And oh, it's not even here. Wait, it's lab coat. So remove tags, use your to help with the existing tags. So these don't even have tags. Let me go in it, see if what's going on in here. Hmm. And I'll let you know, I'll let you go. It could stay there. I just, um, just certain things now don't need it. I'm a little curious why. Oh, it is here. Look, it's here. So we just got to exit out here. It wasn't showing up there, but it's showing right here. Okay. So, so wherever it. I don't need it, I just can move it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then cool. it's going to go away. All right. Cool. And I'll go through I'll go through all the products now and then make a list. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'll be talking to you. Write that review, please. <laughs> oh, please. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Let me start presenting. All right.